this is Ram Mas from Avram Aerospace and in this video we are going to continue our discussion about how Microsoft Excel can help us to build the airline reliability program. As we remember we had six chapters and three video parts but I added chapter 7 and as a result now we have four video parts in introduction. What is about chapter 7? I called it what we need to know before installing Microsoft Office slash Microsoft Excel 2016 plus. And I'm talking here for Windows operation system. What is the reason? There are two versions of MS Excel 2016 plus, 32 bit and 64 bit. And definitely we need to know differences between these two versions. Let's read here disclaimer before we start chapter seven. Before making decision what to use to build your reliability program, please consult with specialists. It is your responsibility what tool and how to use it. Now let's start our chapter 7 and try to understand what we need to know before installing MS Office or X slash Excel 2016 plus. And I'm going to start from the requirements. I would like to remind ourselves what requirements we have to the tool. And in this case, tool is MS Excel. For this reason, let's go back to the Chapter 5 summary. So as we see, or as we remember, uh, we have different, we already discussed, right? We have different sources. We have PPCD, operations, shops, and these different sources gives us aircraft information, aircraft utilization, PIREP, MIREP, delay cancellations, and definitely we need tool to extract, to collect all this information, to transform it, to load it to data model. From data model, we need to build the tables relationships, for example, aircraft utilization and aircraft information. We need to add some measures, formulas, KPIs, the next, we need to prepare all this data for different types of reports, building tables, graphs. Now, I'm not going to read here entire this section, excuse me, chapter 5. We already discussed, but I think idea is clear. And with that in mind, let's try to understand what we need to know before installing MS Office slash Excel 2016 and plus. Number one, we need to know our computer, hardware information. Number two, we need to know operation system. And we are talking in this video about Windows operation system. And number three, we need to know the differences between 32-bit and 64-bit MS Excel, MS Office. Where we can find all these informations? Answer is very simple. We need to go to the Microsoft website, product support section. Under product support, we have install MS Office or Microsoft 365. Here is subsection called 64-bit or 32-bit version of MS Office or 
MS365. In the very beginning, we have a applicability list. I have my version is uh, Office 2019. Please check your version, and if it is not in this list, then you have to go to the appropriate version of your product support. Next, what we need to do, we need to scroll down and we will see the subsection called Reasons to choose the 64-bit versions. There are six or seven reasons. In this video, I'm going to read only one reason. Reason number one. It's called you are working with large data sets. On the right side, I copied paste our section five of requirements, and I think we have the large data set based on this picture, based on this requirement list. So what reason one says? So if Excel workbooks with complex calculations is the item, right, for reason one. So we have Excel workbooks with complex calculations. Then we need 64-bit version. So I think answer is yes. We have Excel workbook with the complex calculations. Next, many pivot tables. We need to build pivot tables, pivot charts. Next, data connections to external databases. I think answer is yes. We have a lot of data sources and our tool needs to collect all this information. Power pivot. Answer is yes, we have power pivot. 3D map. We don't actually need 3D map. Power view, no. And last but not least, cat and transform. So answer is yes, we need power query, cat and transform. They are both in our requirements list. Now, as we can see, more than 60% of items from reason one they are part of the our requirements. So in this case, product manufacturer says the 64-bit version of MS Office slash 365 may perform better in these cases. I think product manufacturer is very clear here. Now what about from system perspective, to build our reliability program. For this reason, let's scroll down and we will see subsection reasons to choose the 32-bit version. Again, there are six or seven reasons. I would highly recommend to read it, but in this video I'm going to read only for the the list of computer systems, requirements for computer systems. Number one, 64-bit Windows 10 with ARM-based processor. Number two, 32-bit operating system with 32-bit processor. And number three, less than four gigabyte RAM. Question is here now where we can find all this information. Answer is very simple. There are two ways. First, we can use Windows Windows Start icon, and uh, second, we can use Search icon. In this example, I'm using search icon. Click on it, type system, and we will see system information. Click on it, and we will see a list of items related to the system information. I would like 
to mention that I'm not expert this uh, computer system information, but in my opinion, I highlighted proper ones, proper items. In your case, please check entire system. Okay. So number one, operation system. I have Windows 10. Oh yes, I can install 64-bit version. System type, 64-based PC. Processor, I don't see here ARM-based processor. So my understanding is that I can install 64-bit version uh, MS Excel on this computer. Now, suppose we already installed our MS Excel, where we can find the information about version. Again, answer is very simple. We need to open our MS Excel file. A left corner, we will see file icon. Then we will see a list of the items. We need account. Click on account. We will see about Excel. Click on about Excel. And here is system information. Excuse me. MS Excel version information. Microsoft Excel 2019 32 bit. Question. Can we build a reliability program based on 32 bit version of MS Excel? Now, I would like to mention that we are talking here because I tested it on eight aircraft in fleet. Answer is yes, but there is small but. We need to optimize the system. How to optimize system? Answer is very simple. We need to go to the Back to Microsoft website and follow the steps to optimize system. Here is my personal opinion. If we are issuing we are building our reliability program on a monthly basis, and I highly recommend to install 64-bit MS Excel 2016 <laughs> plus versions. How we can remove it? Suppose you already have 32-bit. It's very simple, but time-consuming. Again, you need to check Microsoft Microsoft website, how to remove 32-bit and install 64-bit of MS Excel. Let's quickly summarize what we said here. So what we, know, we need to note before installing MS Office 2016 Plus. Number one, we need to know our computer. Number two, operation system. And we talked here about Windows uh, versions. And number three, definitely MS Office versions 32 or 64 informations. Where we can find all these informations? Answer is very simple. Go to the Microsoft.com website, product support section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful to make decision if Microsoft Office 2016 is on the right tool to build your airline reliability program. And as always, I personally invite you to join our reliability program trainings. We have two sessions per year. You can check at our RAM Aerospace.com.